Hello everyone. Welcome to a brand new episode of our podcast series. In this episode, we will discuss the future of riding and motorcycle industry. So, with this important topic in hand, let's begin the podcast. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of our podcast as we mentioned before the intro. In this very important episode of our podcast, we will discuss some important the ways in which the two wheeler industry will move forward in the future. This podcast does not relate to us in particular, our country in particular, but it relates to what is happening in the world right now, the current situation with the pandemic and and how is the two wheeler industry coping with it in this episode we will discuss the future of riding and the industry itself so what we have done is to understand this shift or change we have divided our understanding into four parts so we think and by the way this is only our view we think that this will be the way forward for our industry for the world motorcycle industry in particular moving forward so what we've decided is we tell you about the situation in four parts so the first part of moving ahead with the times would be to be more safe and secured now as you all know protective gear has been a part of the two wheeler industry it is an important element for a rider to wear when he or she goes out for a ride now with this type of climate with this situation a rider needs to be more cautious and better prepared to take on the roads now there will be a time in the new future probably in a month two months three months we don't know as yet but there will be a time when riders will start to tour start to ride and start to go places where they are willing to go when they start to ride again there might be a case scenario where the pandemic or the threat of the pandemic although low will be there in that case along with the crucial and necessary protective gear you would require to follow as a rider some safety guidelines now these guidelines would be important for riders to protect themselves with any sort of danger from the virus or the pandemic now in terms of safety guidelines we are talking about you need to carry some extra safety gear with you this will make you more prepared and more cautious when you ride in this environment that safety gear or safety precautions can be a lot of things like face mask a face helmet some extra medicines some additional gloves sanitizers and sprays have with antibacterial properties and the use of tech so as you know all these precautions we have already discussed and written about in our blog and in our video that you can check out in motorcycle tv but the idea behind this is when you carry additional protection like glove helmet and mask this will protect you against whatever danger is out there you will need to have some extra medicine to take care of yourself and you need to have some antibacterial sprays and sanitizer with you to make sure that your hands remain sanitized at all time with these type of safety guideline you will always be protected and you'll always have a safe ride when you go anywhere along with this there will be few more things you will have to follow or do to protect yourself first of all along with all this gear and safety guidelines you need to keep a distance between yourself and the other riders and other people this is an important step you will have to take to protect yourself and to have a safe journey keeping distance looks to be a very uh, weird exercise but it is a must in times like these where you need to give yourself some breathing space so you need to keep a distance from other riders to keep yourself safe another thing you will have to do is prepare for solo rides when there will be a time 
to start riding again it will be a good option where you decide to ride solo instead of a group of course a lot of you are in a group have groups you like to ride in a groups we do too but looking at the situation you can always go for group rides later on when the situation gets much better till then you have to go on solo rides riding solo will be a great option to protect yourself against any sort of danger when you ride solo you don't need to maintain social distance at all times and you can be safe uh, safe from a lot of direct touch or contact from other riders riding solo will become a norm we think in the near future until the things settle down completely so you should prepare for solo rides instead of doing group rides when you decide or when things start to open up for ride riding now this is one way we predict that industry or riding will move until the situation gets better the second shift we think that's going to happen in the two wheeler industry or the community the near future and that shift is the ev vehicles that you see a lot these days there is a shift happening we can all see it and that shift is a move towards electric technology as you all know by 2030 fuel consumption would become really less why because the fuel is drying up and people will shift to electric power and is shifting to electric power this right now in the current scenario you see a lot of companies which are coming up and becoming a part of this change you can see the shift happening a lot of cities a lot of countries have started adapting electric vehicles with big names like tesla and other big companies making a move towards the shift in technology and preparing for a electric future if we talk about close to home the companies like ather which has been funded by hero moto corp yulu torque are the new contenders are the is the new wave of uh, electric vehicle companies which are being funded and uh, which have been promoted as the leaders in electric technology electric vehicle technology while there are new contenders of course there are big firms india and abroad which are making a move towards electric vehicle technology infrastructure relating or regarding to this technology is getting better day by day people are beginning to understand how this technology works and how you need to buy and take care of your electric vehicle the cost although is high right now and with the more development in this field you'll see it decreasing a lot in the coming years so companies newer companies and the older big manufacturers are trying to make this electric vehicle technology affordable and the norm of tomorrow we all know that this will happen this shift will happen soon it is said that most countries have signed a pact to reduce the number of petrol or diesel operated vehicles and to increase market share of electric vehicles by 2030 so we can see the shift of where the two wheeler as well as the four wheeler electric vehicle technology is moving vehicle technology is moving and it is of course electric so this looks like a future move of all the vehicle manufacturing companies which will be a beneficial move in terms of the cost and in terms of environmental safety so this is the second way which we see the country which we see the companies moving forward and we see a, a shift towards electric technology as a way to move forward in the future now that we have talked about two shifts when it concerns the future let us talk about the third shift that we see happening after this pandemic the third shift that we see after this pandemic is the demand or the increased demand for home services which are connected or integrated with technology 
and which keeps you in your homes. So basically, with the direct contact being avoided by a lot of people, they are much more interested in getting their service, any sort of service, such as rental, repair, pickup, or any sort of service be performed near their home or be booked online through an app. All these services are integrated with the technology where through an app, you can book the service, whether it be repair or rental, you can get your service done direct to your home without you going to some place to avail the service. This helps in saving time, you get better deals, so it saves money. And of course, you, your safety takes precedence as you avoid direct contact. So time, money and direct contact will be the three big factors which will make sure that app driven online services, direct to home services would be a way to move forward in the future. People will prefer to avoid direct contact wherever they can as you'll see newer companies joining this brigade with better integration and better infrastructure. Once people start to rely on these services, they see their infrastructure and they can depend on these sort of services be performed at the leisure of your home or you can book it online and get it done at your leisure. You will see a lot of apps coming up in the near future and of course we are one of them. We will start a lot of these services ourselves so you can check that out through our website www.motorcycle.com slash services in the near future where you can book services such as repair, rental, pickup and, uh, and insurance and uh, move towards a contactless world. So this we think would be the third way to move forward for the entire two wheeler or four wheeler industry. Now, now finally, let us talk about another way in which the industry can move forward. Now this way which we see the industry going forward is a shift towards technology. Yes, technology is there. It's starting to show its worth and technology is the way to move forward. A lot of companies are coming up with brand new technologies which will be the wave of the future and these technologies will rule the world and will focus on making a rider's life safe, secure and better in terms of its safety, its usability and reliability. A lot of new technologies such as Bluetooth integrated gear, especially helmets are coming up in the new future with display screens in the front showing the rider whatever he needs to know at that point of time. Smart displays, smart clothing and smart app integration are right now being established by some fantastic new companies as a way to move forward in the future. These apps, the smart displays, Bluetooth integrated technology will reduce the amount of gadgets and peripherals we have right now will help and support the rider in terms of safety and usability and will benefit the rider in a lot more ways as they will be able to take care of everything that the rider focuses on riding. There will be a lot more tech integration in the upcoming years which will make vehicle industry whether it be two-wheeler or four-wheeler a safe and a better place as we think. This technology integration would be a major part of the vehicle industry of the two-wheeler and the four-wheeler industry where you will see the rapid benefits of having technology, the adaptation of technology in the time to come. So as we see it, the shift towards tech would be a major boon and would be a big way forward for the industry. So as we have discussed, what we think are the ways to move forward for our industry. We would love to hear your thoughts on it. You can comment wherever you listen to our podcast and tell us what you think would be a way to move forward for the entire two-wheeler and the four-wheeler industry around the world. Now, before we leave, we need to remind you that this channel is called Motorcycle Podcast. It is a two-episode-a-week channel 
available on all platforms. So wherever you listen to your podcast from, you can go and search with the term motorcycle podcast. You can subscribe to the channel. You can help us grow. Follow us on our on our channel's social media account. We will leave all the links below. You can check out our content as well as our products and services section as we bring you more and more content in the upcoming weeks. So guys, please let us know what you like or dislike about our content. Follow us in any platform that you can. So guys, with this, we end the podcast with our message. Ride safe, always wear a protective gear and ride everywhere but after the pandemic. And we should mention wear your protective gear and safety gear as well. So with this, we end our podcast. I'm Saurabh and I take your leave. We'll be back with our racing podcast on Thursday. Till then, bye-bye. See you.